So, my question for you nope. is, what you mean, nope? <laughs> I ain't even said nothing yet. What up, what up? D1 Miles back at it again. <laughs> All I got is my ambition. Now let's begin. What up, though? Back for another Dalex Does video. And today, we are talking about exes. I'm not gonna go into detail. Y'all gonna figure it out once you get to talking about it. Let us take our sip. We finna go ahead and get into it. Oh, my bad. Wait a minute. Wait, that was late. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button for your boy over here on D1 Miles channel. You're gonna get vlogs, skits, and sometimes you might get a little bit of skits. <laughs> you, <Dana. laughs> my bad. Skits, skits. <laughs> Going some skits, skits. <laughs> gonna get vlogs, challenges, and sometimes you might get some skits. So, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button for your boy. Stop laughing at me. You drinking already? You already ready to get into it, ain't you? All right, let's take our sip. Let's get into the video. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. Whoa. All right, my love. So, my question for you nope. is. What you mean, nope? <laughs> I ain't even said nothing yet. My question for you, love, is do you feel like nope. exes should hate each other? And what I mean by that is like, let's say you was dating somebody and like, y'all was dating for it like a good period of time. Like, like what? Two, two plus years, right? Two years is a long time. Two years is a long time. It's to be not with somebody. Though. How old? Maybe when you're younger, two years is a long time. But Even now when you're, you're older. older. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Two years? No, it's not. Consistently dating somebody for two years is a long time. Whatever, whatever. However long you think is long. I think two years is a long time. But if you think something. Like five. Okay, whatever. Five plus years, whatever. A long time. Do you feel like you guys should be still cordial if you like moved on. No. Do you feel like you guys should hate each other? Like you should never speak again? I don't think you should hate anyone. There you go, Miss uh, Hey love. I don't <laughs> think you should. I'm just like, for real, like, like, like break it down to me. Like, do you think like, let's say the person you was with for that five plus years or whatever hits you up, like, hey, how you going? Just checking in on you. You wouldn't Why? respond. Just tell me like, just go into detail. How, how would you, how would you feel? I'd be like, why are you texting me? I wouldn't he, say that to, to them. check up on you just to see like how you've been doing. Honestly, if an ex texted me, I'd probably tell you and be like, why are they texting me? I appreciate that. But I mean, I'm saying like, what make you feel that way? I just don't feel like you, sh if you've been with somebody for X amount of years, y'all have shared like too much to still be in contact with each other. If you see, if you're like out at a party or out at a bar or something, you run into each other, you want to say what's up, that's fine. But I just don't feel like you should be texting each other. You should stop there. Yeah, I feel like if if they text you, then it's letting you know, like randomly. That means that you appear in their mind because of something. It's not just like, like when somebody comes to your mind, it's because it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I feel like if they hit you up, it's because they were thinking about you. Why are you thinking about me? You're my ex. Well, okay, I'm finna go. I'm Why? But look at this. If y'all was together for five years, that means y'all spent an awful lot of time together, right? Then you so it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be things that remind you of your ex. You get Keep what it I'm in saying? your head. No, I'm just saying it's gonna be things that remind you of your ex. It probably will be. That's what I'm saying. So they probably like, oh dang, this reminded me of my ex. Let me check on her, see how she was doing. That kind social of thing. media. Huh? That's what social media is for. You so want to see how somebody's be, doing, you go look at their social media page. That don't always tell the truth, though. You know, maybe you tap on social media. So? So, so, okay, so what you're saying is like, like once you're my ex, you're, you're done. No talking, no anything. Like, you're my ex. I feel like it depends no on your, if you're, your current situation. If you're single and that's what you choose to do, you want to hit up your ex, that's on you. But if you're in a relationship, I feel like you need to respect your relationship and the person that you're with. And I feel like if the person that you're with knows the background of you and your ex and they're uncomfortable with it, I get like the person saying. you're with, you you know if you know about their past relationships, mm -hmm. hopefully. Well, I don't actually, but 
wish we could mm -hmm. save that for a different day. <laughs> um, yeah, if you know that that person, the person you're with might feel some type of way about your ex texting you, then you should just leave it at that. I see what you're saying. So you're saying the relationship that you're in right now matters more than with your ex. Though. So if you feel like your girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever, feels like, yo, your ex is out of bounds. I'll talk to them, I'll speak to them, because I'm going to feel some kind of way. You should respect how they feel. Yes, I feel like there's lots of temptation around, and if your ex randomly pops in your mind because you hear a song or something like that, that's temptation. And you better ignore it. That's the devil. Yep. <laughs> Testing you. Oh, can I give you can I give you my view on how I feel about it? I don't know if I want to know. But I'm just I, I, I agree with what you're saying. But I just think it's like a, a, a certain side that you might not be seeing right now. So you know me. I'm like nope. I'm at a point. Can you listen to what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm thinking like, okay, you spent five plus years with one person, right? And you know me. You know how I'm feeling right now. I feel like nothing happens by accident. So it was a reason why you with this person for five plus years or however long y'all was together, right? So that time he's with that person, a piece of you is with that person, bro. Like if y'all was together for an extended period of time, I'm sure some I love you's got exchanged back and forth. So I'm thinking like, it should never be like, I hate you, you hate me, just never talk again type. I feel like it should be like a mutual understanding. Yeah, we we'll, we'll have to talk every day. We ain't got to talk every month. We ain't got to talk every six months. But I feel like if they like check in like once a year, she'd be like, okay, yeah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I got a new girlfriend now. I think about marrying her. Or vice versa, like, I got a boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? This, that, and the third. Like, okay, I'm glad you're doing okay. I'm doing okay. Glad everything's good. It shouldn't be like, I remember the time when we went to... The skating rink. But you know that that's how it goes, though. I'm saying, but like, once you get to that, your significant other should respect you enough or respect the other person enough to be like, all right, no, this is going too far. But why even put yourself? That's like, that's like you going in, like, you meeting, you going in, you going to a restaurant with somebody because it's just for business. But you know, like, there's a possibility that it can go somewhere else. So why put yourself in that situation? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That, that come down to trust though. That come down to trust. It come down to like, okay, this is the line. We're not crossing this line. You saying, hey, how you been doing? I'm good, how you been doing? Okay, cool, boom, that's it. Once you start talking about past stuff, that's the line. Like, no, nah, I'm not comfortable doing that, man. It could be a respect thing. And for example, I know you got an ex that she was with, like, when you was growing up, you know what I'm saying? If he hits you up like, hey, how you been doing? I wouldn't trip because I know like y'all was together for a minute and like you know what I'm saying y'all had some kind of feelings there. But if he was talking about like hey I want to see you or this that and the third like no of course I'm gonna feel some kind of way because that's that's crossing that line. So I feel like if you don't cross that line that like that it's a respectful line that if you don't cross that line then it's cool. Or do you feel like honestly like no communication that that's that's what it is. Cause I'm saying, like I said, it's it's a piece of you still with that person. I guess it's different from like girls and males, because I feel like males are always like the aggressors and like the initiators for right. the most part. That's so real. I feel That's like real. for me, if like one of my exes hit me up, like I can, like in my mind, I can be cool about it. But then whoever they're with isn't gonna be cool about it, cause it's like, why are you hitting up your ex? I feel like it's. I'm not making sense right now, but I know what I'm trying to say. So like saying. if you hit up your ex, like, or you one of your exes, kind of then I'm gonna feel some type of way. Cause it's like, you're the male, you're the aggressor. Like girls already know this. So then she's gonna be like, oh, he's thinking about me. Like you got a girlfriend, which you, you know, girls are messy. So like. Say it again. <laughs> say it one more time, people in the back. One more time. They messy, ain't they? Messy and petty. No girl wants to see her boyfriend hitting up another girl. That's basically x whatever doesn't matter and i guess it just depends on like my perspective of it is different because like i'm not i'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that. but <laughs> like it, yeah i'm done it's different i don't i don't maybe you feel differently but i just know me like i have no reason to hit up my any of my exes to see how they're doing well we want to know what you guys think let us know in the comments how you guys feel about hitting up your ex while you're dating somebody don't else. Don't do it. If you're happy in your relationship, don't do it.
Fuck they your ex. They're you your see. ex for a reason. Leave them there. That's real. That's real. They are your ex for a reason. Thank y'all for watching the video. Appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the kid. What I got? My ambition. Close. All I got is my ambition. <laughs> and we out. Peace. It was ugly. Mm-hmm. <laughs>